third, even with this thing's on brakes, it's still faster than... There you go. Just doing a little pest control. Hey, there you go. Don't, no, no, no. Yay! The shuttle is away. Rogue leader, get your squadron out of there. I thought I messed that up. Accuracy, 10%. <laughs> Imperial officer Crix Maydeen wishes to join the Rebel Alliance, but the Empire will do anything to stop him. Protect Corellia from destruction as Maydeen makes good his escape. The snow speeder, modified with armor plating, stronger outboard laser cannons, and a harpoon tow cable for the rear gunner is not a true flight craft, but a repulsor craft, so the flight ceiling is quite low. It hugs the ground well and is also quite maneuverable, but the addition of deflector shields was deemed costly and time-consuming, so watch yourself. Yeah. The controls are quite similar to the X-Wing, so don't worry about additional training. The snow speeder, modified with armor plating, stronger outboard laser cannons, and a harpoon tow cable for the rear gunner, is not a true flight craft, but a repulsor craft, so the flight ceiling is quite low. It hugs the ground well and is also quite maneuverable, but the addition of deflector shields was deemed costly and time-consuming, so watch yourself. The controls are quite similar to the X-Wing, so don't worry about additional training. The Y-Wing is the workhorse of the Rebel fleet. It's not quick or flashy, but it gets the job done. The armor on this ship is extensive, and the shields will protect you from just about anything, which is good, because you won't be going anywhere fast. The Y-Wing is used mainly as a bomber, because it can carry a heavy payload of missiles, torpedoes, and bombs. The other important weapon is the topside ion cannon, which rather than destroying a target, can disable it for later capture. Our cannons have a computer-assisted auto-fire feature, so don't forget that when you're in the heat of battle.
This is a new craft, fast, light, and unpredictable. The V-Wing carries two blaster cannons which can be fired at a normal rate or in the rapid fire position. Rapid fire is useful for strafing ground targets, but it overloads the cooling units and can often cause a complete burnout. In addition, the thrust engines have been modified to supply an incredible amount of power over a short distance. These are generally used to evacuate a pilot from a dangerous area, as the V-Wing carries no shields and very little armament. That said, the V-Wing is extremely nimble and stealthy, and is an even match for most adversaries. This is Luke Skywalker, go ahead. I've received word an Imperial officer, Chris Maydeen, wants to defect. Apparently he has a lot of information on the Empire's military ground operation. I'm going to contact him after my meeting with the city officials in the Capitol Tower. Keep your eyes open for any sign of trouble. Form up. Picking up something strange on my scope. I copy. Increase speed, full throttle. Right with you, boss. Maintain visual scanning. Hi, Tartness. How are you? Okay, I'm happy that that did that. I'd blow up and not know why. Oh, this is going to be hard to see. I hit something! Yay! Alright, turn it around. I might have to mess with the gamma levels on this. Repeat, under attack. Get back here as soon as you can. Rogue group, we are under... You heard him. Full throttle. Back to the city. Stupid us, falling for that. We are very silly, very silly indeed. All right. Hey Guilders, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to catch me live on Twitch. The link is below. Please stay tuned for the next episode, or if you're looking for something a little different, you can follow the links to the episodes on the left and the right. Or you can catch one of my guest streams. See you next time. <laughs> Jeff go boom, the winner has to take <laughs> Life, ah, oh, finds a way. All right, you, know, you know what we gotta do now, though, right? That's really unnerving. Can you stop that, please? <laughs>